Hi guys, it's Jay here and welcome back to today's video. I'm here somewhere else to have a break outside Manila. So for today's video, I'm going to have a house tour and then answering your frequently asked questions about COVID-19. So let's go! So how does the virus spread? So yung virus is spread siya through droplet from person to person. So it happens pag yung tao is within 6 feet dun sa taong infected sa virus. So pwede siyang yung, yung mga taong nagsisneeze, nagtotok, uh, nagka-cough, and then yung droplet um, nagla-land sa surface. So pwedeng hawakan ng tao gamit yung kamay nila at saka napunta sa bibig, naghawak sa bibig, sa ilong. Next question. Can I get COVID-19 from food including restaurant takeout, refrigerated or packaged food? So yung sagot niyan is sa ngayon wala pa talagang evidence that people can get COVID-19 by eating or handling food. So actually pwede siyang mangyari if the person who has the virus or infected by COVID-19 maghahandle ng pagkain mo na hindi naghuhugas ng kamay, walang proper PPE while handling the food, tapos pinasa sa'yo or kinain mo, then probably dun din yung mag-transmit yung virus at mai-infect ka. So next question, kung namamatay ba ang virus pag warm yung weather? So walang known evidence, walang studies na nagsasabi na pag warm yung temperature, hindi mangyayari yung outbreak about COVID-19. Okay? Some other viruses like coronaviruses na hindi COVID-19, nagsispread siya usually pag mga cold seasons like pag rainy seasons, yun, ganun. Pero during warm weather like summer, walang studies na nagsasabi na hindi naga-outbreak during that season. So next question, is it safe to get care for my other medical conditions during this time? It is important to continue taking care of your health and wellness. You need to continue your medications. If ever may nararamdaman ka, you need to consult your healthcare provider na hindi dapat mag-stop yung care nung um, other conditions mo, medical conditions. So, you need to call your doctor if meron ka or teleconsult. Yun yung bagong trend ngayon na ginagawa ng ibang doctors. So, next question. Am I at risk for COVID-19 from male packages and products? So, the answer for that is unknown pa if ang COVID-19 can spread through those transmission like yung mail packages and products. Pero yun nga, ang virus kasi nagsasurvive siya short period of time. Like kung mga domestic and international packages na sinasend out through mail. So, pwedeng yung duration ng time na mahaba, so patay na rin yung virus yung time na yun. Pero possible pa rin na mag-transmit ka ng virus through that means. So next question, what should I do if I get sick or someone in the house gets sick? What should I do if I get sick? So unang gagawin mo is to stay at home except to get medical attention if it's emergency. Pero pag manageable naman sa bahay, you need to stay at home. 
and then use a separate room na hindi kayo congregate dun sa isang space or kung wala kang space dun sa bahay nyo, baka you might need a facility where you can you know, isolate yourself. And then, wash your hands more frequently before touching any surfaces or any objects sa bahay nyo. Kailangan mong magugas ng kamay. You need to wear mask. And then, practice physical distancing from, you know, yung mga kasama mo sa bahay. And then, dapat hindi kayo sabay-sabay kumain kasi when you eat, that's the time na tinatanggal nyo yung PPE nyo at saka kumakain kayo. So, yung paghugas ng kamay, hindi kailangan soap and water. Uh, pwedeng 60 to 80% na isopropyl alcohol. It's effective naman to kill the, the virus. Or kung wala kayong alcohol, soap and water is okay. What should I do if I have had close contact with someone who has COVID-19? So yun, uh, you need to check and be alert of the symptoms and always check your temperature kung nag-fever ka. And follow the government protocol and guidelines when it comes to contact tracing. So next question, when is the best time to get tested? So ang una mong iisipin anong test ang kailangan mo. Kasi maraming test for COVID-19. You have the RT-PCR test, yung swab test na tinatawag nila. And we also have antibody Test. Pero wala pa akong naririnig na may antigen test. Uh, I think it's under validation pa. Kung RT-PCR test, dapat yung onset ng symptoms mo or yung 3 days after onset, yun yung pinaka-best time to get tested ng RT-PCR. Kasi mas mataas yung yield ng virus at madedetect yung RNA ng virus. I would not recommend na magpa-test kayo when you're asymptomatic or if you do not have symptoms kasi baka mag-false negative ka. And especially pag yung exposure mo is high risk, yung exposure mo sa COVID positive na tao. Next test na available sa market is yung antibody test. Yung antibody test is to detect if may antibodies ka from that virus. So, a positive test result shows you might have a antibodies from that infection, from the virus that causes COVID-19. However, may, may chances na yung antibodies na yun is caused by another coronavirus na hindi siya COVID-19. So, can someone test negative and later test positive on a viral test for COVID-19? Yes, it's possible na pwede kang mag-negative and then later on nag-positive. Yun nga yung sinabi ko kanina, yung best time to, to get tested. Kasi pwede yung test mo is too early and then later on nag-develop ka ng symptoms and then yun na, nag-positive ka ng sa COVID-19. So, pwede yung ganun. So, next question. After getting tested, am I allowed to go out or to go to work? So, ang answer dyan is no. You're not allowed to go out or to go to work pag na-test ka. So, you need to wait for the test result. And then, if it's negative, then pwede kang mag-clear ng isang doctor na you're fit to work or hindi siya COVID-related yung symptoms na nararamdaman mo. The follow-up question is, what if I tested positive for COVID-19? What should I do? Should I get a repeat swab? If yes, when should that happen? So, yung first question is, kung anong gagawin mo pag nag-test positive ka? So, first is to isolate yourself. When we say isolate, dapat meron kang sariling room where you can stay na hindi ka pwedeng lumabas for 14 days from the onset of your symptoms. Pag hindi mo alam kung asymptomatic ka when you were tested positive, uh, from the test, kung kailan, yung test day mo, kung kailan ka na-test, yun magsa-start yung 14 days isolation mo. Bawal yung exposure mo sa family members mo, if may sarili kang room, much better. 
doon ka mag-isolate and then yung food mo kung pwedeng nasa disposable container para hindi na kailangan hawakan ng family member mo. Should I get a repeat swab? Actually, based dun sa DOH guideline, wala nang repeat swab once you tested positive. So, symptom-based na sila. Once nag-recover ka na sa symptoms, like yung sa 14 days isolation mo, yung 3 days, at least 3 days doon sa 14 days is asymptomatic ka or no symptoms, you can be considered recovered with a medical clearance from a licensed doctor. So if ever man required siya ng company nyo na may negative test, then you need to submit yourself for testing. So kailangan lang is medical clearance from a licensed doctor. And then yung question dito, if, if yes, when should that happen? So dapat after your isolation, yung next swab mo. So for the last question, what should I do to avoid getting infected? So unang gagawin mo is to avoid crowded places or stay at home if hindi naman siya necessary na kailangan mong lumabas ng bahay. Second is to practice physical distancing. Minimum of 6 feet or at least 6 feet tapat yung distancing mo from another person. You need to wear mask all the time and then maghugas ng kamay parate. And then avoid sharing personal stuff, sharing of food. So that's the minimum health standard to avoid getting infected from coronavirus. The answer of all the questions are taken from Center for Disease Control or CDC sa US and my own personal answers. So based from experience, ito yung uh, mga ginagawa namin advice sa mga tao may mga COVID-19 at saka yung mga na-expose sa COVID-19. I hope everything na sinabi ko may natutunan kayo and please stay safe. I hope you guys learned something today and thank you for staying up to this point in the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you have comments and suggestions, just comment in the comment section below and hope to see you on my next vlog. Thank you. Goodbye. Stay safe everyone. Once again, this is your DJ KJ 102.7 Star FM. We do have here our first guest, Mr. Mark. Mark. Hey, police! Then, <laughs> dito ka sa ano? <laughs> Di kita. Oh, pak. Oh. Zoom. Mm. Oh. Itigay mo na yan. Papasing yung camera. I have a challenge for Kevin. So make a sign like this. Okay? So put this on your chin. Put this in your chain. Mm. <laughs> 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 it's Doc Gia's turn. Make a sign like this. Put it on your chain. The <laughs> 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 chain. <laughs> so we're playing Jenga tonight. Oh. What did you do, guys? Ha <laughs> <laughs>